in the northern part of Perak, Malaysia, located one of the ancient fishing villages possessing great inspirational story to tell. This village is familiarized by the name Kuala Kurau, which was influenced by the fact that the sea is home to many coral fishes. Walking along this historical village, one could easily find traditional businesses like handcrafts and rice mills that have been preserved from generation to generation. Unfortunately, as years went by, these long-existing private businesses have started to turn up. Currently, only middle-aged people is actively running these kind of businesses. Possible distress that should be risen into awareness is how none of the younger generation is eager to take over or even visit these traditional shops. With the worsen of this issue existing in the fishing village, we have found a golden local girl called Joanne, who is still interested in protecting traditional cultures. Here, we are bringing Joanne to meet Uncle Cor, the owner of a handicraft shop, to explore the monumental village together. Early in the morning, Uncle Cor leads us to Gadai Kopi Korla, a must-visited breakfast spot operated by his secondary school classmate, who is Joanne's father. So close yet so far, Joanne is actually not aware of this information because Joanne currently works in a beauty salon located in Paripuntar and rarely works with his dad in the kopi tiam. This cafe has been one of the most iconic dining places in Kuala Kurau, but Joanne is not keen in inheriting the family business. 目前是没有这个想法，因为我是从事美容行业的，然后我有自己的对人的一个规划啦。如果没有意外的话呢，是没有想要继承这个的。Star owned by Uncle Cor is the one and only handicraft shop out here in Kuala Kurau, as far as the eyes can see. Now, let's hear about Joanne's opinion as the representative from younger generation about this traditional business. 我我有想过，因为我其实蛮佩服他们。因为这些手艺的东西是学习还是很难的the lack of knowledge regarding advertising is the main cause for Uncle Kor's dying traditional business. The harsh truth is, even Kuala Kurau citizen is not familiar with the existence of this iconic handicraft shop. This 我的过程是这个是我的心情
Due to the lessening of appreciation in today's society for handicraft, Uncle Cor has been affected and not opened his shop diligently. Nevertheless, Uncle Cor has a big plan after retirement to expand his work and art, his source of happiness. After enough exploring in the handicraft shop, Joanne is fast to realize how precious her village is and why it is so important to maintain its tradition. She decided to learn more about other conventional industries within the village. So we bring her to a salted dog egg factory and rice factory to see how these businesses operate. Chuhong Chan Salted Egg Factory has went through three different generations within the family since 1950s. Firstly, made dog eggs covered with burnt rice hogs made with traditional recipe is their best seller. In the production method, we well, first started as using hand to mix clay, which is very time consuming, has now developed into the utilization of machines. However, even with the simplified process, the dog eggs still need to be carefully hand selected. Right opposite Juhong Chan Salted Egg Factory, located the Kilang Beras Haihin. Another one of Kuala Kura's industrial backbones founded in 1943 during the Japanese occupation of Malaya. A small museum at the entrance displays the conservations of the ancient tools used in early production. During the past few years, media publicity has successfully enlivened the rather quiet fishing village. Homestays, boat tours, and souvenir shops are starting their journey hoping for triumph, which currently look very promising thanks to the non-local visitation. This also brings hope for the younger generation to begin their contribution preserving the traditional businesses and carry it forward. Although some businesses may have been lost, such priceless memories of experience from people who know can still be passed to their offspring.